In this lesson, we're going to have a look at Apache, which was uh, originally written by Jerry Lorden, and I think performed by Burt Whedon to begin with, although it was later recorded by The Shadows, and of course that's the version that everybody knows. It's one of those songs that everybody who picks up a guitar should have a go at, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so the tune is played in the key of A minor. It starts with a two-bar drum backing, followed by an A minor chord played by the rhythm guitar. And in this first section, which we shall call the A section, the lead guitar outlines the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale. So this first phrase starts on the second fret of the G string, first fret of the B string, third fret of the B string, and we're going to bend that note up, a semitone, to an E flat. Now when Hank Marvin played this, he actually used his vibrato bar to do that bend. So he'd play on the note, pull the vibrato bar back, then release it. Okay, so the phrase sounds like this. Okay, now I'm playing this with the echo unit off. It originally had an echo unit, so I'll just pop that back on. Now this phrase comes in on beat two. So let's have a go at that. One, two, three, four, one. And again, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, the next phrase is very similar. Again, you play the second fret of the G string, first fret of the B. This time we're going to grab the third fret of the top E string. And we're going to slide it up to the fifth fret. That's a quick slide or a grace note slide. We then have the third fret, then the open. And again, this phrase comes in on beat two, so with the put the echo chamber back on and have a go at that. So one, two, three, four, one. And again, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, we then play the first phrase again. And then the second phrase again, this time ever so slightly differently. Before, we played eighth notes, we went one and. This time, we're going to do it as a rake. So put both fingers down, ready. So that's the second fret of the G string, first fret of the B string. And with your plectrum, you're just going to glide quickly over both of them. It's a controlled though, it's not, it's not too fast. Okay, so I'll give you that phrase with the echo unit on. Okay, and that completes the A section. Okay, the B section actually begins on the uh, the bar that we've just played. After we've done that, we're going to quickly grab on the and after four of that bar, the second fret of the fourth string. That's our pickup note. Okay, so this phrase then actually begins here on the second fret of the G string. It goes like this. Okay, so that is the second fret of the G string, second fret of the D, second fret of the G again, fourth fret of the D, second fret of the D, open D, second fret of the D again. Okay, so I'll play that now with the pickup note. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We then play exactly the same thing, but this time our pickup note 
is on beat four. So it's four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The next part starts on the second fret of the G string, then play the third fret of the B string, back to the second fret of the G, second fret, uh, third fret of the B string, fourth fret of the G string, second G, open G, second on the G. And again, the pickup note for that is on beat four. So that's one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We then go back to playing the first phrase from the B section. Okay, so we'll have a whole, go at that uh, whole section with a count. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three. Okay, and that completes the B section. This next phrase begins with a two bar sort of gallop. You start by playing your third finger on the third fret of the A string, your little finger on the third fret of the D string. It goes like this. Okay, so that is a sort of rocking action between your third and fourth fingers. Notice that as I play it, I go and rock between them. So I take my third finger off there, just ever so slightly. I'm still touching the string, but what I'm trying to avoid is I'm trying to stop the notes from ringing into each other. So the right hand at this point will be playing down on the A string, then down, up, down, down, up on the D string. We go back to the A string, down, back to the D, down, up, down, A string, back to the D string, down, down, up, down, down, up, back to the A, down, under the D, down, up, down, down. So ever so slightly different just for that last one. So that gives you this. Okay, so with the echo, that is. Okay, and that section also uses a palm mute. If you don't know what that is, you place your the palm of your hand just behind the bridge to mute out slightly the strings. To create a sort of chunky sound. We don't want to kill the strings. We don't want that. We don't want the strings completely unmuted, we want sort of just slight chunky mute sound. Okay, we then play two on the D string for two beats, and the open A string for two beats. We then go back to the gallop. This time we just play the second fret of the D string and we leave it now for four beats. Okay, so let me give you the whole of the 
C section. <laughs> put a count to it. One, two, three, four. 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 This next phrase begins using uh, an F major arpeggio starting on beat 2. So that is the 3rd fret of the D string, 2nd fret of the G string, and the 1st fret of the B string. You then play the open B string, leave that for 2 beats, 1st fret of the B, and then the 3rd fret of the B. So that's 1. You then play the open E string, 3rd fret of the B, 1st fret of the B, and then 2nd fret of the G. Okay, so that phrase. Okay, you then play the F, mi uh, F major arpeggio again. 3 on the D, 2 on the G, 1 on the B. Open, B, 1st fret B, 3rd fret B, you then play the open G string. You're then going to have a slide from 3 to 5 on the B string. And you're going to place your 1st finger, leaving that 3rd finger where it is, place your 1st finger down on the 3rd fret, strike that. Then you're going to slide both fingers together. You're going to play the third, the um, the B string which is fretted at the 5th, slide that down all the way to 8, play 6 on the E string, and then 8 on the B string again. Okay, so let me show you how that goes again. Okay, and then after you've done that phrase, use your vibrato bar if you have one, Just press it down and release it again. One more time. Okay, you then have your F major arpeggio again. That's all the same as before. Okay, we then go back to our gallop. Okay, so the next phrase is almost the same as the uh, A phrase that we started with, the, the, the A section, should I say. Uh, but we're going to do it sort of using that gallop rhythm again, slightly different, but almost the same. I think he actually plays it, rather than playing here, this time he actually plays it up here. So that is the seventh fret of the A string, and the seventh fret of the D string. And you're going to have this sort of gallop rhythm. So let me play it and then I will uh, break it down a bit. Okay, so you're going to play the 7th fret of the A string first, then on the 7th fret of the D string you're going to have with your picking arm, a 
down, down, up, down, down. So that gives you... You're then going to play two on the seventh fret of the A. You're going to go to the fourth fret of the D and play down, down, up, down, down. You then go back to the seventh fret of the D, down, down, fifth fret of the A, two of those, one on the D at the seventh fret, then one on the A at the seventh fret. Okay, so that gives you. So with the, uh, the echo chamber on, and again here we use a slight palm mute. That then repeats. go up to the second fret of the G string, and as before in that C section where it was we're going to play those same notes but use this new rhythm. Okay, so let me show you that one more time. the same rhythm as before that we played up here we're now going to play it back in its original position now at the second fret okay now that whole section should be played uh, with a palm mute and after it's complete it then strikes an unmuted A minor chord Sort of a slow one, not too fast. And if you're not sure what the A minor chord is, it's first fret on the B string, second fret on the D, and second fret on the G string. Play it from the A string down. Okay, we then go back to our F major arpeggio. Open G string there, and we then get this. Okay, so let me play that without the mute, so, uh, without the echo. Sorry, so it's a little bit clearer. That is on the open G string. We're going to go down, up, down, down. First fret of the G, open G, first fret, open. And we're going to do a quick pull off from the first fret to open. So that gives you. We then go back to the F major arpeggio. We then have one, uh, one half, if you like, of the gallop section. For the second half, it changes. We're going to play this. So this is first fret of the low E string. We're going to play down, down, up, down, down, up. Slide that up to the fifth fret. Then play down, down, up, down down, up, slide it up to the 8th fret, down, up, down, down, up, slide it up to the 13th fret, down, up, down, down, and 
and a down on the 12th fret. Let me go through that again. First fret, down, down, up, down, down, up, slide up to the fifth, down, up, down, down, up, slide up to the eighth, down, up, down, down, up, slide to the thirteenth, down, up, down, down, down on the twelfth. Okay, we then go back to our opening section, the A section. This is where it gets a little bit different. He plays down on the second fret of the uh, G string, first fret of the B, second fret of the G, first fret of the B, and then finishing on the second fret of the G, giving you 